For this, you're gonna need a measuring tape or a ruler, whatever you have. Make sure you futsal community, the doctor in the car here, and I'll be showing you how to know what size of the sporty futsal shoes you are. You step on the tape or on the ruler, your heels gonna be aligned with the zero. So it's exactly in line with the zero. And the furthest point of your foot, that's where it's gonna be. So my, my foot's giving 25.5 centimeters. It's the exact size of my sporty futsal shoes. Uh, this is a brand new pair of the Boa Vista K1 Pro 2, one of the newest ones. If I tried it on for the first time, there will be no gap at the front. My foot's right at the end of the shoe. And that's how pro players should wear foot shoes. Now, if you are a social player, all the devices to at 0.5 centimeters. So if your foot size 26, um, your your shoes should be a size 26.5, for, for example. If you are a child or you're buying shoes for your child, maybe add between 1 and 1.5 centimeters. It's up to you. And you have to consider that the sport foots and shoes will mold your foot. Most of them are made of kangaroo leather, apart from the Campinas 3. Some models are for narrow feet, some are for, for wide feet. I personally think that they both feel perfect. These ones here are for narrow, and my, and my foot's for wide, they're pretty wide and they still feel very comfortable. Uh, if I open the San Luis, for example, which is uh, a shoe for wide feet, and I tried it on for the first time, so you see that I'm opening the box right now. They, they will feel a little bit wider, but what matters is the front of the shoe. The front of my foot's right on the top of the shoe, and uh, that's how pro players should wear them. Just remember, if you are a social, you might want to feel a little bit more comfortable for the first few weeks. If you are a pro player, after a couple of weeks, they'll mold your foot. It's up to you. But now you know what size of the sports foot or shoes you are.